If you're thinking about Shopify dropshipping right now and you're not using ChatGPT or Dali to improve the look of your store, you're most likely increasing the chances of you failing. Last week, I made a video called I Tried Dropshipping with ChatGPT. I'll link it up here if you missed that one. And I promise you guys that we'll come back and do a rerun with ChatGPT and Dali to create some nice images and make our website look that much more better. Well, here we are just a week later and nonetheless, these AI systems continue to blow my mind. I was able to create a high converting Shopify store by using ChatGPT to once again generate those product descriptions, but also Dali to create photorealistic images of my product and website. So as you guys know, I started off just making an account on OpenAI and logged in, went to Dali, and I started using some prompts. And as you can see on the right side, the sample product was the pimple patches, the 24 hour quick one stop shop acne solution. I wanted to just continue with that product and see how far I could take it. The very first prompt that I gave Dali was before and after image of a woman with acne and clear skin. And these are the renderings that it gave very very high quality images as you can see right here and i end up using one of these on the website as you can see here is the sample website and as you scroll down is the very first kind of like descriptive image where i also included the chat gpt prompts right here which we found last week you know some of the benefits of pimple patches which is what i asked it right here and i just kind of plugged and play those into this refresh theme which you can find on the shopify app store absolutely free so i just put them in right Right here I put some other images of the product went going to Aliexpress you can just search the images over here and I kind of used a mix of those AI generated images and also the Aliexpress product images to give a realistic feel to my website and it came out pretty pretty good check out this right here so we got some all of our descriptions are generated through AI using chat GPT but right here we're using the Aliexpress images of the product and I'm not even completely done with this store as you can see it's still incomplete right here I'm still trying to play around with some of the colors but even this banner right here was completely generated by Dali so let me show you how I was able to get this website banner with a photorealistic version of a woman right here after I used that first prompt to get that before and after I'm like all right for the second prompt I put a website banner for an online store selling pimple patches with pink and lavender colors as accents and the female model holding the package and it only took about a few seconds and it started generating a few options for me which I really started to get excited about because I knew it was on to something at that point it created some variations like this but then as I continued to kind of tweak what I was saying and give it more and more information I realized it started putting in some like fake text so I tried to get it to create that text in English and I didn't have no luck with that right so I used some of the best images this was one of my favorite ones so I try to create variations of it which is something that you can do you can also upload your own images and ask Dali to create variations of that and gain some sort of inspiration from it. And it does a pretty good job, at least with the information that you give it. I would honestly say that the output that you're going to get from Dali is as good as the input that you give it. So I started getting a few results just like this, but it wasn't an accurate description of my uh, Pimple Patches product. And as you can see, when you zoom into certain areas, because I'm giving it the prompt to hold the package with a smile, it kind of distorts those images if you take a closer look so I wasn't okay with that so I just kept trying kept trying it took about like I would say less than 10 tries and I started to get some realistic images like this one for example and in this one the prompt was a website banner for an online store selling pimple patches with lavender and pink color accents female model holding the package include no text in the image and it still gave me text but I really liked this style that it was going for. It was very photorealistic. And my logic here was, let's say I'm selling a product and somebody else is selling a product. If I'm selling a product with a photorealistic image of a woman smiling from using the product versus another dropshipper selling the same exact product without being able to get a photorealistic image of a potential customer, then I'm guessing that my website is gonna sell more, it's gonna convert more because as humans, we are social creatures. So we wanna see that that human, we wanna see that photorealistic feel and that, that social proof that another human is getting great results with this. And that's more likely gonna get you more conversions with your store. So I continued with these prompts and I end up getting an image like this one. So this one I was really, really happy about. And as you can see, the prompt on this one was pretty much the same. And I said to include 
the female model holding the package with a smile. Although they're not holding the package, it is a very nice kind of banner feel for the store. And then I end up downloading it. I made a few edits in my personal photo editor. So I just kind of uh, washed out and used the brush to take care of all of the text. So as you can see, this is what it ended up looking like. And then erase that. And then I was able to get something that looked like this. And then I was able to kind of wash out that product image as you can see right here because it's like some fake product i uploaded a image of the actual product from aliexpress as you can see right here on a website called remove background so what this does is it just removes the background of the product image and then i was able to add that into this uh, photo editor after removing this at this point i was able to kind of just get a brush right here and then just brush out this product so i was just brushing this along just to remove everything and then i end up with something like this a little bit more plain and then from here on it was just a matter of adding that png image of the product as you can see right here into the actual banner and it ended up giving me something like this okay so with a mix of using that ai and using your own creativity and just some of these free online tools i was able to generate actual banner for our website and this is what it looks like on the site here we are right now and of course this is just a sample site so ignore that website title but everything else beyond that looks pretty pretty convincing right even that uh, before and after image Image that we can use down here including those human images is such a game changer because you don't have to go and hire models you don't have to take photos of yourself and it allows you to get going fast again so a lot of benefits to these new AI systems that we got right now I was able to go ahead and generate this high converting Shopify store in a matter of less than an hour and this is my very first time using Dali very first time using the prompts getting familiar with it just playing around and if you got some value out of this video so far I would love it if you can hit a like comment and subscribe let me know what videos y'all want to see in the future i'll catch you on the next one peace